So fly back and in today's video i want to welcome you back to part three of the not so illuminati challenge and this is probably one of my favorite challenges so far that i've ever done it's very very fun and guys if you have watched the last episode you know i listed every single anime i watched and i paused the video briefly to check if i really did uh mention all of them and yes for the most part i mentioned all of them the other ones i haven't watched so i can't necessarily recommend them to you but yeah guys i think unbelievable i just think everything is good when you watch anime it makes you happy that's all that matters i'm gonna throw a thingy here get the cargo thing and we have to use literally all our resources here one topic i really wanted to talk about was the whole discussion about um the whole discussion actually oh my god i'm going to be running out of ammo soon i really don't know how i'm going to be able to do this uh should i make it so that i bend the rule of actually using wall weapons hmm i wonder i wonder i wonder i think i will i think i will because like using the em1 is going to take forever i don't want to slow down the gameplay for you guys so if you want guys you can actually use wall weapons i'm probably gonna buy whatever the hell is over here what is this the uh hbr arx okay I see like I have 10,000 points, right? Like you just gain mad points in this. And okay, sorry guys. One of the things I wanted to talk about again was the games that you're excited about for E3. And like, again, Patrick and I actually recently had a live stream about uh, talking. Okay, I hear power up. I don't know what it is. <gasps> get that. I didn't, I didn't get it. I, that, that makes me mad. That makes me mad. I can't believe I didn't even get it what okay i okay so basically what i was saying though is patrick and i were talking about uh games that we're going to be able to branch off to after uh black ops 3 right so the main game i'm thinking of right now only is fallout 4 because the only two games are only three games i say that i really followed when uh e3 was out was one black ops 3 obviously uh, Fallout 4, to, uh, that was really awesome what they announced for E3, and, um, well, what was the third one? Uh, Kingdom Hearts 3, yes, okay, those were the only games I really followed, okay, I'm gonna call up the Sentinel, uh, let's just eradicate these guys, I should've used them on something else, but you know what, I really needed them, but, yeah, those are the only three games I followed, and Rockstar really was silent, uh, this E3, they really did not do anything, like, I remember last year's E3, was pretty much the year of nintendo where they released everything like it was nintendo's time to shine and now like oh my goodness it's just horrible and did you guys hear a drama alert okay i don't know if you guys dro uh, watch drama alert but like xbox one sales just because of black ops 3 dlc in japan like between a whole month there was only a hundred xbox sold in japan like that's bad like that is really bad that means you have screwed up and i can guarantee you there's probably like 10,000 ps4s sold in japan like sold in japan in that certain frame of time like that's ridiculous like wow okay but um I hope you don't smell like damn me. like i just think that's the coolest thing ever okay so i'm gonna use my monkey bombs here i don't know if they work with dogs on this i think they do uh but Honestly, guys, the new Rockstar games that haven't been announced that are probably not even going to come out are, like, I really just want games that aren't announced to come out. For example, Portal 3 or Half-Life 3. Those sh those games will just never come out. They're just, like, on people's, like, minds, but they will never come out. And same thing with, like, uh, games like Bully 2, the Scholarship Edition. That would be really damn interesting. I think that would be really cool. They could make it like a GTA for like, uh, like a student. That would be really awesome. Um, what else do you have? Uh, GTA 6, I don't know. Elder Scrolls uh, 6, I think it is. Like the one after Skyrim, a new single player adventure. I don't know if that's going to be as good as elder scrolls online or, sorry not elder scrolls online skyrim i have no idea because skyrim topped major charts like that game kicked some serious ass and if you go on the steam summer sale guys right now it's still being sold as one of the top sellers the skyrim legendary edition unbelievable the game is like five years old like that's some serious dedication towards the game and it deserves it because it is that good i'm throwing down the monkey bomb because i don't need that i don't need that i really don't so 
I might die. Okay. Yeah, okay, so there's our first down. This is now getting really scary because it is two hits. And, like, with the EMZ, like, I don't know if I use my thing. Yeah, this is crazy. Okay, so we are going to call up this guy because he really does help in terms of everything else. But, honestly, that's about it, guys. Like, Fallout 4, I'm thinking of posting on my channel. But, like, it comes out four days after Black Ops 3. And Patrick and I were saying this. Like, that is ridiculous. Like, how are we going to manage with this shit? Like... It's gonna be crazy. Like, I have no idea because, like, Patrick and I again plan on getting Black Ops 3 uh, zombies early. And when we get it early, we're going to be playing the shit out of it because of the whole progression system and sit shit. And, like, wow. Like, it better be good. It better be good. Again, I know you guys have watched many videos about my expectations for Black Ops 3. But that's pretty much the whole game list I have. I know I'm not really interested into uh, The Division, Uncharted 4, nothing really like that. Uh, I, I don't know. But like, I guess just because I play Call of Duty mostly, that doesn't necessarily make me a true gamer, people would say. But I don't know. I really just don't know. And now, this is going to be crazy. I'm probably going to have to integrate this teleporter into my strategy. I don't want to open up this door because it'll make it worse. But Fallout 4, people are saying, is going to be the next Skyrim in terms of modding. And that makes a lot of sense. Because Skyrim with modding, my goodness. Like, the vanilla game itself is still a masterpiece. But with modding, it is endless. And that is why the th that is why I feel like even an Elder Scrolls 6 is impossible to beat Skyrim. Like, unless... I don't, I don't know how they could top it off. Because the possibilities with Elder Scrolls 5 are endless. You can do anything with it. Like, you will never get bored. And that's pretty much that. Like, there's nothing you can do to make the game better, in my personal opinion. Unless you completely next-gen it. Like, you'd have to... Like, I don't know how they would do it. I know there are... Oh my goodness, okay. I know there are capability limits in terms of what you can do for Skyrim. But still, the majority of what you can do is there and it is crazy uh i need to kill this guy oh uh, okay that was really close it could have been the end uh give me some full ammo or multi or multiplier something i completely don't need did this have full ammo no ah uh, god okay we are calling you up dude you are my life my savior you are going to help me Go oh, explosive touch. Okay. Oh. Woo. <laughs> I don't know how. I can't even see. It's lagging so much. I don't know if I'm almost dead. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Woo. Okay. We're gonna try and end this round as quickly as possible. This is where the shit hits the fan, guys. I'm out of ammo with this. Only got the ARX. I can't upgrade this shit. Cause I'm out of everything. I'm out of everything. I've got a ton of points though. So this is like pretty much going to be just a basic challenge of using a trap, guys. Because as you guys know, the best way to go around this map is to use traps. I guess, you know what? That's what we will do. With our amount of money, we'll just go around by, uh, like, through the places where the traps are. So, hmm. Yeah, you know what? Okay, this is really bad. Uh, this teleports you, I think, to the spawn. So, yeah, if this... Okay. Hmm. This thing's still going around, so... No, no, it's, it's gonna leave. Okay. So, what I'm thinking of doing is... Okay, let's take this. And let's open up... Yeah, okay, this brings us here. So, let's go to the moon pool and open up the traps. Let's just use everything here. Uh, the trap panel is over here. This is very useful now. Because this is now going to, like, boost me up and also boost the zombies up. It's It doesn't do much damage, but, you know, it's still useful. I'm trying to think of the other traps. There is one, I think, in one of the main rooms, which we could possibly use. Uh, I, you know what? A lot of people in my first playthrough of this map were calling me out. They're like, dude, everything you're naming that is mysterious, you're saying that is part of the Easter egg. But you know what, guys? That cage up there was part of the Easter egg. That was part of the Easter egg. I'm telling you. I'm telling you it was part of it. Let's open it. Oh, my God. Let's get the hell out of here. I'm going to pause it, guys, and we're going to end off the third episode here. Anyways, guys, I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like. Please make sure to leave a like. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Mr. T. Laxify. Uh, 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 uh,